Hey, this is John. Welcome to another video where I'm going to be answering an age-old question. And by age-old, I mean maybe a month in age. About a month or so ago, I got an advertisement targeted email from a fast food place you might know as Arby's. They claim to have the meats. And now they have a new one, a pork based sandwich that they call the real country style rib sandwich. I have it right here. In this advertisement I got, it specifically showed a picture of another rib sandwich. And that sandwich was this the McDonald's McRib. At the time when I got this, the McRib wasn't out. No one knew when it was coming out. But not too long later, it was announced that on November 1st, McDonald's would be coming back nationwide with the McRib. Well, today is October 29th, and I've already driven by a few McDonald's in the city of Chicago that are already selling the McRib. So, November 1st might be the official national date, but a lot of places already have it out, including the one near me. So, I had the idea way back when I first got the email from Arby's because they're pointing out how much better than the McRib they are that I should test this out. I should see is the Arby's the real country style rib sandwich better than the McDonald's McRib. Before I start that out let's give you a little bit of information of what's on the sandwich. The Arby's country style pork rib comes on a star topped bun we all know that that's what a star looks like but it has Texas pit smoked rib and here is one of those pieces that is a Texas pit smoked rib. It does smell smoky. I don't know if this is like an actual piece of rib that was cut between two bones. It does say pork rib. You couldn't advertise it as a pork rib without it actually being a pork rib, right? Also on this sandwich you can see some smoked gouda, uh, some crispy onions, some smoky barbecue sauce, and mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is on the bottom part. It looks like I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of those pieces of rib that are about this size. Um, a good amount of onions and sauce. And this sandwich goes for retail at $5.99 for the sandwich or $8.79 for the meal. However, I purchased mine from Uber Eats and it cost me $8.99 for the sandwich. I did that because the, Ar the Arby's that's close to me is downtown Chicago and it would be impossible to just drive there, pick up a sandwich, park somewhere without it being an ordeal. Paying the extra price for Uber Eats just made more sense. Plus, that gave me time to go drive to McDonald's and get this delicious sandwich, which we all know as the McRib. On the McDonald's website, they say that this is pork. The patty is pork, water salt, dextro dextrose, and rosemary extract. It does not specifically say what type of pork it is, but I did a little bit of research and McDonald's has come out and said that this is actually pork shoulder so technically not rib meat but they do put the little indentations on it to make it look like one um, typically I would get this with extra pickles however to be fair and go head to head with something else I just wanted to get with everything on it how it comes so, of course, this one has the patty, 
the home style bun. This is the style of bun that you would eat at your home. Um, the McRib sauce. They don't really call it a barbecue sauce, they call it McRib sauce. Probably because they already have barbecue sauce and it's probably a little bit different than the regular barbecue sauce. And they just want to differentiate that. And pickle slices and onion slivers. So, let's go ahead and try the first one. The one we know. The McRib. Here we are. It's got sauce, onions, pickles. Let's have a taste. Just as delicious as I remember. A good porky flavor. A good crunch from the silver onions. A little tang from the pickles. When you get them, that's why I always get extra pickles on these, just because there's just not enough. Also, what's up in my mind? I don't remember if I said this before. But, the McRib is $4.99 at McDonald's. So, the retail price for these, the McRib is a dollar less than the Arby's rib sandwich. Which we're going to taste next. This is the country style pork rib from Arby's. It's considerably, not considerably, it is heavier than the McRib. The meat is a little bit more uh, pronounced and substantial. Let's see if, if everything together, this tastes like a good sandwich, and if it's better than the McRib. I'm going to go back to the McRib for one more bite. Okay. First of all, the Arby's Country Style Rib Sandwich is a good sandwich. It is tasty. The ribs have a smoky flavor to them. They're they're thick, way thicker than the McRib patty. So they have more chew to get through than the McRib. They're a little bit denser since it's like not reformed meat. You actually have to cut through individual muscle fibers with your teeth. The Hmm. The Arby's rib sauce has a little bit more pepperiness to it, a little more smokiness to it. The McRib sauce is more 
sweet and zingy flavor. I'm actually surprised how tough this is because I have a bias. I was coming into this thinking that uh, I was going to pronounce the, the McRib the winner so easily. But tasting both of them, I like both of them, but for different reasons. The McRib is a little softer, easier to eat. It's more, like I said, tangy and zippy. Whereas the Arby's one is more smoky and peppery. And more substantial. I do think, if I were to have made the McRib to my specifications, which is extra pickles, add bacon, and cheese. Some people have tried the... the the fat hipster style of the McRib and have stated that the the bacon helps a lot but the cheese doesn't really do much and I, I can see that um, if you were going to choose one or the other the bacon addition is definitely going to improve the sandwich a lot more than the cheese but I like them both even if the cheese just mildly changes it the change in my opinion is better uh, but extra pickles definitely Add bacon, definitely. Cheese, if you want it or not. I think if I had all those three, I'd definitely say the McRib sandwich, fat hipster style, is the better of the two. But, if I'm just going on how the, the two sandwiches come, when you order them and say, I want that sandwich, everything on it that comes with it, I'm going to have to say... Arby's has done it. Not only do they have the meats when it comes to chicken and ham and roast beef, but Arby's, when it comes to ribs, you got the meats. This country style rib is tasty. You can taste that Texas pit smoke to it. The, the sauce adds like a peppery smokiness as well. The uh, onion strips are crispy. The cheese, the smoked gouda on it just adds another layer of smoke. Just in a different way. And it just tastes more like ribs. Than a McRib. That could be because it's actual ribs. And a McRib is pork shoulder. But pork shoulder is not bad. I'll eat a pulled pork sandwich made of pork shoulder any day of the week. But. As they come. We're going to have to give the win here. To the Arby's. Country Stop Pork Rib. It is a better rib sandwich than the McRib that's on the menu. Now, what about McDonald's fries versus Arby's fries? We'll review that one right now in a mini bonus. Classic. Salty, crispy. You know, McDonald's fries are not vegan. Before they arrive at the stores, they go through a pre cooking process that involves, I think, some kind of beef product. And I think that really improves the flavor. Arby's, though, has curly fries. They have those new crinkle cut fries, but uh, they're terrible. Don't buy them. The curly fries are where it's at. Also crispy. 
but playful. And they have that flavor. Just that indescribable seasoning that you can only say that's curly fry seasoning. Now, the fries have been sitting in front of me for a little bit. I'm going to give this a caveat as well. I think the McDonald's fries, if these were both hot and fresh, I would have said McDonald's fries hands down. But if you don't eat McDonald's fries right away, they lose something to them. They haven't got so old that they're cardboard yet. But definitely not hot and fresh. The Arby's Curly Fries, even though they've been sitting here for the same amount of time, they still have all the Curly Fly, Curly Fry, flavor and texture that I remember. Just not as hot. So, it's a queen sweep for Arby's. Your curly fries, at least in this case, are better than McDonald's fries. Though I like them both. Arby's, you've done it. You sent me an email a month ago pointing out a McDonald's product that I love. You said you were better. And despite my bias, I tried them back to back. And you came out on top, Arby's. The Arby's Country Stop Pork Rib. Get them with some curly fries. But still, go out and get the McRib. It's still delicious. But you should try the country one too. The country style rib at Arby's. If you're a rib eater, if you're at least curious to find out, try the Arby's country style pork rib. You won't dislike it. You may even think it's better than McRib. And feel free to disagree because everyone is entitled to their own opinions. And with that I'll say... So long. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to continue watching something like this, watch my Fat Hipster Meal video that I did one year ago uh, where I make the Fat Hipster style McRib. And you'll definitely like that video. And you should definitely go order it like that, how I describe it in that video. And we'll see you on the next one. Whenever that is, bye.